Oh, wow. Boom. You never know. Tyson Fury and Terrence Crawford advisor, the company he founded, MTK, has just announced they are shutting down and ceasing operations. And you can find out why in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. We got some crushing news, especially for the UK. MTK Global, which if you're a fan of boxing, you may have heard over the last several years. This is a company founded by Daniel Kinahan, and they just put out this presser, and it says, MTK Global to cease operations. As a business, we have found and faced unprecedented levels of unfair scrutiny and criticism since the sanctioning by the U.S. government of Daniel Joseph Kinahan. It is a matter of public record that Mr. Kinahan involvement in MTK ceased in 2017. And despite repeated reassurances in this regard, unfounded allegations about his ongoing association with us and our fighters persist. Since leading promoters have now informed us that they will be severing all ties with MTK and will no longer work with our fighters, we have taken the difficult decision to cease operations at the end of this month. And we're in the month of April. Wow. Subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. They conclude by saying MTK prospered because we always put the long-term interest of our fighters at the heart of what we do. Our priority in the weeks ahead will be to ensure the world-class boxers are supported to find new partnerships as swiftly as possible. MTK gyms are operated independently, so will remain open for the foreseeable future. Further announcements will be made in due course. Thank you to all the fans who have supported us over the last decade. Wow. The breaking news. Only on Boxing Ego. <laughs> now, I know this is unrelated, but Deontay the Bronze Bummer Water from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's not looking so crazy, but I'll get to that in a second. MTK Global, this is, this is a bombshell, y'all, because this is Tyson Fury's advisor and his association and his association and him founding this company has led to all this. Now... There were some idiots in boxing who, when the U.S., you guys got to listen. I'm not going to keep saying this. You guys got to subscribe to my channel. I give you guys all the boxing news, the latest and greatest. It's one stop shop. So you could be well informed as to what's going on. So if you're not informed in boxing, I really blame you because you haven't subscribed to the channel, because if you did, you would know. What's going on? When is going on in boxing? I've made videos about all this. So it's up to you. The information, it's like a library. The books are there means the knowledge is there. So all you have to do is get a library card and, you know, browse and then check a book out. That's how my channel works. So appreciate everyone for the support. But this is this is bad news for MTK Global. They represent some fighters like, for example, Virgil Ortiz Jr. I mean, I know he didn't fight his last fight because they said he was ill and he pulled out the week of the fight against Michael McKinnison, but he is an MTK fighter. So wh where does he go? What does he do? You know, and the, the funny thing to me is this was highly predictable and MTK, they're on this uh, cease and desist type of press release. And one thing that they noted and stated is the gyms owned by MTK will stay open for the foreseeable future. That doesn't sound good because even though it says it will stay open, I mean, how are you going to fund it? If you can't, just the name alone is becoming a curse. It's like if you go to Hulu and watch the curse of Von Dutch, when Von Dutch blew up all the celebrities at the time, Snoop Dogg, Jay-Z, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, uh, Britney Spears, NSYNC, all these people, Eve, all these people in the 2000s were wearing Von Dutch. But they had a lot of stuff behind the scenes that happened. I watched the doc and they had a lot of stuff and they called it the curse of, the, of Von Dutch. 
And long story short, the original guy, Von Dutch, the real Von Dutch in real time, he was a racist. And they uncovered, somebody uncovered these letters or leaked these letters from him where he was calling people the N-words and, you know, different things like that. So now Von Dutch brand, once that information was out, they were basically tarred and feathered, blackballed to the point where you you instantly seen no one wearing Von Dutch because what does that represent if the imagery that you're wearing in the original dude is a racist and you out here rocking the shirt? You you know, that could be problems for you You're at the mall and, you know, you're a white guy or whatever the situation is and you still rocking Von Dutch after this information is out. You know, that, that could look crazy to others. So it became unfashionable for people to wear Von Dutch after that point. So even though they're saying the gyms are going to stay open, I mean, it's, it's looking like the MTK logo, the brand is now cursed. And I don't really see people dumping money. The letter says that the promoters severed ties and refused to work with them so what are you gonna do pop quiz hot shot what do you do what do you do at this point you know so it's looking like the mtk logo the the imprint the emblem whatever you want to call it is looking cursed and if promoters have already told once the u.s sanction and I, I i try to warn you guys on my channel man you guys that's why i i mean I always do a great job, so it ain't nothing new to me. This doesn't change or affect my channel in any way. But the information, it's just vindication for everything that I've been saying on the channel. A lot of people didn't realize the implications and how supreme and, and serious these things were. They're like, oh, it's boxing. Who cares? Tyson Fury, he's at his media day and he's refusing to answer the questions. That's cool. You could refuse to answer, but... And you can pretend you don't see it, but it's like the building behind you is collapsing and you're just trying to act like you don't see it happening. You know, it's like the fall of the Roman Empire or the end of a, a drug dealer movie or something. It's not looking good. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, they thought this was light. Like, bro, the U.S. doesn't put a five million dollar. They put a five million dollar bounty on three separate Kinahans. That's 15 million dollars. So they really want these people they really want this family right and i'm not a cop i'm not a 12 i don't work for the feds dea the u.s treasury but i know what i know and i'm intelligent enough to know that typically the feds don't come a knocking until they got something right if they've bugged your phone they got informants they've been surveillance in you etc that's when they come for you after they've collected what they needed when they already have their case because you have to think about it if the feds blew their cover and let the mafia or a cartel or mtk or whoever know that they were on their trail then you could tighten up your behavior you could not talk about this that and the third or you know moving packages over the phone because you know you're being listened to and watched it would make you in essence paranoid right but if they remain silent collect what they need to collect that's when they pop out so i expect a lot more and there's a lot more connections uh pro bellum their new company it looks like everything traces back to mtk and mtk is trying to play like karen's they're trying to play in this is press release at least they sound like a karen in the sense that they're trying to act like the victim here your company was founded by a reported drug lord and now the government including the u.s government because i guess he spread his operations to over here they're looking for him so that's never going to be a good thing i mean imagine if my youtube channel you you found out that harry o or nino brown or big meech or scarface or pablo escobar el chapo you know put up the seed money for me to be where i'm at right now it wouldn't go down so i expect a lot more to come this is 
they, they represent different fighters. Like I said, Virgil Ortiz, Josh Taylor, Kenahan, and Terrence Crawford, Tyson Fury. We'll see how this plays out, but it's like a movie in real time. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe because I'm the best in the business. Hit him up. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.